In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts, my review of the Lion Energy 100 watt solar panel. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts and a short review of the Lion Energy solar panel. This is not a sponsored or paid video. I purchased this stuff with my own money. If you like camping like I do, having solar panels can give you that freedom away from a generator, and that's why we use them. If you see my other video already with the solar panels that are on my camper, those are good and they're 400 watts, but sometimes you need more. Sometimes you have to camp where you're in the shade. And so every little bit of help that you get is a good thing. Lion Energy is a Utah-based company that sells solar panels, emergency preparedness, uh, battery generators, and other solar equipment. Now to start off with, I didn't pay full price for this solar panel. I got it on sale, which is always a good thing. This solar panel when you buy it retail is about $199 as of the date of this video. I picked this up for $99. This panel did not come with a solar charge controller. It's just the panels and the connections to hook it up to something. And that was okay with me because I already have solar charge controllers and wiring in my camper. You don't have to use this setup in just your RV. This is a portable solar panel system that if you have a solar charge controller, you can charge up your car battery. If you're thinking about getting into solar or you're already into it, one of the things you'll find out is gear creep. You'll tend to gather all kinds of stuff that's solar related because it's supposed to work with what you have. Like many other panels in its class, it's 100 watts, 22 volts, and six amps. That's pretty standard, so there's nothing really special about that. But what attracted me to this solar panel is the case, the enclosure that it's in, the structure and the arms, the legs that put out when you want to deploy the solar panel. I've used a number of them in the past and they've been pretty flimsy. This one stood out to me as really solid and built with high quality. When you put these legs in or out, the resistance on the legs is quite amazing. It feels very well built and the legs stay right where you put them. This solar panel did not come with a bag or a way to store it, so I purchased a bag that would fit around it. Unfortunately, it's not from this manufacturer. They don't sell one for it. And if I had any criticism with that, I would say you should make a solar bag to put your portable solar panels in. Another thing that jumped out at me right away was the fact that they use Anderson power pole connectors to go from the solar panel to whatever device you're hooking into. Now, me being in ham radio, Anderson power poles are the things we use. What I found odd about these power poles is they were configured in a different way. They were stacked on top of each other instead of side by side. Well, Anderson power pole connectors are easy to move. You slide back the, the sheathing on the connector and you can disconnect them and rehook them back up the way you want. There are a number of times when we go camping where we're parked in the shade, there happens to be a tree in the campground that we're at, or maybe it's gonna be a cloudy day. You can still charge your batteries when it's cloudy. So I'll take this solar panel and I'll plug it into the adapter that I have on my camper. Because I like to operate ham radio again, I have Anderson power pole connectors with a breaker that ties right into my electrical system. I have an MPPT controller that I use specifically for this unit, and that's attached into the battery circuit. And so it's an easy thing for me to do to take the solar panel and plug it into the camper and move the solar panel around while we're camping. So I found not too long after getting this panel and using it that I needed an extension cord to get to the solar panel to the trailer when you had to drag the solar panel away from the RV. I found a 25 foot cord that they sell, but it wasn't through them. It was at a different place that had this patch cord on sale. And again, the Anderson power pole connectors were hooked up different than what I'm used to or what I need, so it was an easy thing to swap those connectors. I did call their tech support and ask them why they do that, and I got no real answer. Just that it's easy to change them to the way you want. So I did. By having this solar panel not connected to my camper and using an external solar charge controller, I can charge up a car battery using supplied alligator clips. And that's real handy. It's not gonna be speedy, but it's better than having nothing. If you've used solar for any amount of time, you know that 100 watts really isn't substantial. But adding 100 watts to my 400 watts gives me 500 watts. And on a cloudy day, when it, the, the sun is less productive, that can make a difference between having enough power to run the TV for the grandkids at night or not. This thing is very lightweight. It's very durable. Even though I put it in its own little case, I'm always careful with it because you don't want to break the glass, damage your solar panel because you might count on it. A few things that I like about this solar panel system the hinges, the clasps, and the handle for carrying are built really solid. You can feel it when you're carrying it that this is not chintzy and it's gonna last for a long time. 
I also like the Anderson power pole connectors. You can actually tie in a secondary panel to this so you can get 200 watts going into some external solar charge controller. And for me, Anderson power pole connectors are a great fit to my camper and the way I have things wired. A downside about this solar panel is the fact that you've got to change the connectors. I would think they would be in a standard way so you don't have to mess with that yourself. Not everybody's going to want to do it. I would say the biggest thing that I don't like about this solar panel system is the fact that it doesn't come with a carry bag. I guess you don't necessarily need one, but when you're hauling all your stuff in the back of a pickup or in your RV and things shift as they do, you're more likely to damage your panel as you're driving down the road. So would I buy this panel again? I think it's a really good panel and I probably would buy it. Would I pay retail for that? I'm not sure. I think we're always looking for good deals on gear that we get because that can get out of control. But it is a solid product and the company seems pretty reputable. And when I've called for tech support, I got to someone right away and that's always a good sign. Another good design that's in this panel are the plastic corner guards. This way when you're setting your panel down, whether it's in storage or you're just setting it to go do something, it's less likely to scratch or damage or ding the aluminum frame that's holding the actual panel in. So do I recommend having an extra solar panel or two? Absolutely, you can never have enough solar because you don't know if it's gonna be a cloudy day. You don't know if you're gonna drain your batteries further than you did before. And if you jump to lithium, which I have not done yet, you need even more power because you're gonna have more batteries and solar always leads to more. And that's not a bad thing, that's just the reality. 100 watts, 200 watts, 1000 watts in portable panels. You have to actually set them up and then you have to worry about people stealing them as well. And how much would you be willing to spend to have that portable capability? Let me know in the comments down below. If you've already purchased something like that, let me know the brand and what your experience was. It's always great to share that information with everyone else. All right, that's my review of the Lion Energy solar panel, 100 watt solar panel, and its uses, how it's built, and how I like it, how it works for us. If you got some value from this, smash that like button down below. It helps the video and it helps the channel. And if you're new here, and this is the kind of content that you like, consider hitting that subscribe button. And of course, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I put a new video out. That's gonna do it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.